Good morning and welcome again today to some good seeds. Wayne Hathaway here with you and uh, just thought I would uh, remind us about the premise for this little devotional that I do each day. Uh, Luke chapter 8 verse 11 says that the seed is the word of God. Uh, Jesus speaking there talking about the parable uh, about the sowing of the seed. So my hope, my desire is to plant some seeds of the Word of God, some good seeds from God's Word each day. So I pray it'll be a blessing to you. Today, our reading is in Matthew chapter 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the verse that stood out to me was Matthew chapter 3, verse 12. Uh, it says this, His winnowing fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly clean out his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the barn, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Well, there, there are several words here within the word uh, that could be seeds for us to consider and contemplate. So let's look at that. The first thing that strikes me is, uh, is the word, two words, the winnowing fan. What is the purpose of the fan? It's to separate the husk from, or the chaff from the wheat. In other words, that which has no value from that which is most valued. Chaff, chaff has no value, even for a fire. There is no usable part in it, and hence it's, it is good for nothing. The winnowing fan is that which blows away the chaff and separates the unusable from the usable. The threshing floor is another important consideration. It is, it's the place where the process of dividing the usable from the useless. In other words, it is likened to a place of judgment. Paul says, for us who are believers, we must all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. There, uh, the believer's works, you and I, our works that are, we are done, have done in this life are going to be tested by fire, and the wood, hay, and stubble will be burned up, usable and unusable. That which is left through, through the process of the burning, uh, the gold, silver, and precious stones will make up the reward. Uh, it can be likened to the dividing of the good and the bad wheat, the chaff or the husk from the kernel of wheat itself. So it speaks of the process that takes place. The gathering of the wheat into his barn is ex also an extremely important uh, concept because it speaks of our redemption being complete. Then we will go to be with the Lord forever. What a great day of blessing that is going to be. Awesome time. It's, it's truly a prophetic word from John the Baptist. Unquenchable fire speaks of the finality of judgment, but also it speaks of its duration. How long will the punishment for the unrighteous be? How long will this separation last? The term, the word unquenchable answers that question. How long? For all eternity. And the fire never goes out, nor does the suffering end. Awful? For sure. Uh, tragic? Oh, absolutely. Avoidable? Completely, without a doubt. It's a choice made by every inhabitant of hell. They have chosen to be there. Is it just? Only by faith and from eternity are we going to see the righteous justice and the just sentence for those who reject the glorious gift of the gospel. God has made a way. He has made provision for each and every person to come to repentance and find the peace of God uh, to be justified as Paul says in Romans chapter 5, by faith, every person. How important is it that we pay attention to the words of Scripture? Jesus said, not one jot or tittle, not, dot, not one dotting of the I or crossing of the T would pass away until it's all fulfilled. We need to make it our aim to not only know his word, but to rightly divide the word of truth or to rightly interpret, understand what God is saying in his word. And we need the word, dear friends. We need the word. So I want to encourage you yet again today, once again, be in the word. Study, Paul says to Timothy, to show yourself approved to God, a workman who needs not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Your word, David said, have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. How important are those words? Let us pay attention to them and put them into practice in our lives. Amen. May the Lord richly bless you today.